In this video, we are going to be looking at sets of complex numbers in the complex plane, and I'll give you a few examples of uh, such sets, uh, show you how to sketch them, um, because such um, sets of complex numbers often arise when you are solving problems uh, related to uh, complex numbers. Uh, uh, and these sets um, are basically just given to you by a set, well, by some equalities or inequalities on complex numbers. And it's best to uh, uh, gain a bit of experience. So I'll give you a few examples. The first one, uh, I'll denote this set by um, A, consists of complex numbers that have modulus 1. Okay, so I, um, I'm considering such complex numbers which have uh, a, which are a unit distance away from the origin. So just by saying that, I hope you already uh, see it, or you can already, you would already be able to sketch uh, this set. So if zero is in the origin, and this is one unit of distance away from it, uh, what we have to uh, look at is basically, uh, the circle that is centered at the origin and has radius 1. So this circle, all points on this circle um, represent complex numbers which satisfy this relation. So this is the set A uh, points on the circle. And I should just uh, tell you that this is called the unit circle. It's a set that so often appear so often that it has um, um, its, um, its own uh, name. So next up, well, we are going to look at the set B of complex numbers um, defined by this equation where the modulus should be less, strictly less than one. So what's uh, going on now is that we are looking at looking for numbers which are less than a unit of a distance away from the origin. So again, if I just quickly sketch the unit circle, then let me just uh, draw this, sketch it with a dotted uh, line and dotted curve, then uh, what we are looking at is numbers that are less than a unit of a distance away, which means that it's the interior of this circle that we are looking at. That, that is a disk. So uh, we call this the open unit disk. Open because the uh, boundary of the disk does not, isn't contained in the uh, in the set. So there's not, uh, it, this is a strict inequality. Okay, third, set C. Let's uh, have it um, uh, as follows. So this is a set of complex numbers such that um, Z minus 3i has the modulus 2. Okay, so let's uh, try to sketch this set of complex numbers. Well, this is going to be uh, going to require a bigger uh, bigger diagram. So what we are looking at is numbers which have uh, their difference with negative i in a way that it has length two. So the way I would like you to imagine this is we are looking for numbers which are two units of distance away from three i. Okay, because if I take the difference, I connect the vectors, the endpoints of the vectors uh, going from z, uh, the origin to z and the origin to 3i. Uh, that means uh, the dis dif distance between these two numbers uh, should be 2. So that means that if I sketch um, If I want to sketch this set, I have to go up to three units of distance, and this is the point that represents 3i, 
And what I need to do is draw a circle around it, which has radius 2. And that circle, so let me just draw some auxiliary lines. So what I have to have is this circle, it's not going to be perfect, this circle around 3i, centered at 3i with radius 2, uh, is going to be our set C. Okay, points in the, you know, along the circle uh, satisfy this relation. Finally, for set D, we would like us to look at the following set of numbers. So let's have uh, complex numbers such that their real parts satisfies the relation that is they are, they are, they are greater than zero but less than one and um, the, the a second relation is also given by that i times z should have real part that is greater than zero but there is no high, uh, upper bound to it okay so let's uh, try to translate these relations these inequalities into uh, the x and y coordinates so if z is given by uh, this algebraic given in, in this algebraic form of x plus y i then the real part of z z is of course um, x so x should be between 0 and 1 what that means is now in the complex plane we should have numbers which have the horizontal their horizontal coordinates points which have their horizontal coordinates between 0 and 1 so, so between 0 and 1 we are looking at uh, these uh, these points on a strip basically so all of these points in this strip have um, horizontal coordinates between 0 and 1 and um, the real part of, of i times z, well, let's calculate i times z first, that i times x minus y, because i uh, times uh, y multiplied by i gives us negative i. So the real part of that number, i times z, is now negative y. And we require that to be positive over here. So if, if negative i is supposed to be um, positive, that means that uh, negative y is supposed to be positive that means that y is supposed to be negative so we are looking at points which have um, uh, negative vertical uh, coordinates meaning we are going below the real axis so uh, combining these two these two inequalities means that we are looking at points in this half strip with the boundary not being included okay so boundary is not included because we have strict inequalities so this is uh, the set this is the set d all right uh, finally i would like you to um, tell me what is the shape of the set um, so that is for this is for you this problem what is the shape of this set m equals uh, such a m is a set of such complex numbers which have uh, the real parts such that in absolute fair value they are less than one okay so i want you to pause the video sketch out this, this set and then tell me um, of these uh, out of these following options which one is true is it a circle is it a rectangle uh, is this perhaps a disk or is it some sort of infinite uh, infinite strip so pause the video and select the your answer below okay so i hope you have sketched out the set and found that uh, well this set must be uh, the following so in order to have complex numbers with real parts between um, 
um, with the absolute value less than one, that means the, the real parts have, have to be uh, between negative one and one, but there is no other constraint. So this set is definitely going to be this infinite strip between these vertical lines at negative one and one being parallel to the imaginary axis. Okay, so it is, um, it is option D that's correct. So it's not a circle, nor it is a rectangle or a um, disk. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.